A top barrister has had a brief taken away by the head of the Queensland Attorney General's Department six days after he criticised the Newman government's proposed sex offender laws. Stephen Kime SC was due to represent the Queensland Attorney General's Department in a case involving noise complaints at a Brisbane hotel. Emails obtained by the ABC under freedom of information laws show the move caused a crisis behind the scenes in the department as they scrambled to find a senior counsel to replace Mr Kime. This exclusive report by Steve Kinane and Mark Solomons. He's the top silk who represented Mohammed Hanif when he was falsely accused of terrorism. In recent months, he's spoken out against proposed new laws which would have allowed the Queensland Attorney General to keep sex offenders in prison indefinitely. The way in which our criminal justice system is uh, being administered is almost being uh, turned upside down. And the whole point of um, having an independent judiciary is that the parliament passes the laws and then independent people who are not influenced by any political motives uh, get to administer those laws. But just six days after that interview, Stephen Kime lost the offer of a brief to act for the Queensland Attorney General's Department. He was due to represent the Crown in a legal matter involving Brisbane's Normanby Hotel. The Crown solicitor had approved Stephen Kime, but John Sosso, who worked on the development of the sex offender legislation as the Director General of the Attorney General's Department, overruled that appointment. Where the Director General uh, overrules decisions which have been made by uh, lawyers with conduct of a matter, supported by the Crown Solicitor, um, it raises uh, the danger, I think, of creating an impression that uh, political considerations are intruding into the decision-making process uh, about choice of counsel for Crown law work. Internal emails obtained through Freedom of Information show Stephen Kime was taken off the case the week before the first hearing. That decision caused a crisis in the department. I have a crisis with respect to senior and junior counsel in a Supreme Court proceeding concerning the Norman B Hotel, again. I had intended to brief Stephen Kime SC and Nitra Kidson as junior. That plan has not been approved upstairs. Included in the departmental documents is a list of senior counsels that can be briefed. Stephen Kime's name is on that list. But at the bottom of that document is a shorter handwritten list of six approved barristers. One of them, Roger Traves, ends up taking the brief. When he was president of the Bar Association, he gave the Attorney General advice on his sex offenders legislation. The Director General of the Department, John Sosso, was unavailable for interview. But in a statement said... That decision was made by reference to the following considerations. Availability, seniority, capability and value for money. Roger Traves QC was the most senior barrister and considered most appropriate counsel for this matter. A retired Queensland Supreme Court judge has told Lateline the emails raised suspicions that Stephen Kime was rejected as counsel because he criticised the government's sex offenders legislation. Legal practice should be apolitical. The Crown Law Office in Queensland has a proud history. It claims to run a best practice system. What happened to Stephen Kime doesn't really look like best practice. Stephen Kime has confirmed to Lateline he was offered a brief and accepted it, but it was withdrawn after the Director General was consulted. The Queensland Attorney General was unavailable for interview. His office released a statement that said, This is a matter for the Department. The Attorney General was not consulted on this matter. Meanwhile, hundreds gathered in central Brisbane this afternoon to protest against the Newman government's law and order policies. Steve Kinane, Lateline.